Hey guys, what if here? Welcome back to NASCAR 2003 race 2836 season three of the crew motor going to Dover today. Last race was in New Hampshire, and that was a nightmare. But that's nothing new. So I left that race so quickly, and the video so quickly that I didn't even show the the garage and all this sort of stuff because I want to change things. So engines, we're going to look at the stuff we have because we ha we have to, too much here. So we're gonna just replace. Uh, probably this one here, number nine. So I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. So we're just going to sell engine number nine. Do that for 577k repair. One of these, which will be number 13. I guess I could overhaul it. I don't know if it'll be better. So I'll, let me check this real quick. And it'll be about the same, but fuck it. Who cares? So we're going to put that in there. And chassis. I don't think there's anything to do in chassis. So we're just going to go to modify or pretty much build a new one, why not? So engines, we'll put in number 11. Chassis, we'll put in number 15. And that will be a car rating of, I don't know why I did not change the proper rating. And it's a 77 rated car, five more race on the chassis, uh, what was it, downforce, drafting. So, yeah, with all that out of the way, let's just show you the custom setup and then get into qualifying. Here's the setup for the race again, really nothing too crazy from the normal, I think the big difference is just 4th gear. So, I'm just hoping for a decent race, nothing crazy, I just want to finish better than last, or whatever we got in that race, which was I think was 29th when we sipped it, so, yeah, let's get better than 29th here. One more, let's go. Off turn for the first lap is a 22.1. We'll see what this one is, and it's just a little bit better than the first one. And pole position. I'm assuming by just a little bit, because that second lap was barely better than the first. Me and ooh, Amy Hicks on the front row. Ooh, that's cool. Let's get this Dover race underway. Three, two, one. Green flags out. We got 40 laps. This is I can't remember the last time where Amy Hicks was on the right beside me on the front row. So that's pretty cool. We got to a good start. I just want to lead a lap. That's all I want. I don't think I can win this race because I don't know what it what it has to take for me to be amazing an amazing car. But Richmond spoiled me. It's like, oh my god. Well, there. Well, now I got right side damage. Now I'm triggered. But we we keep the lead in a dirty way. But we keep the lead nonetheless. I tried. I tried. I, I I couldn't even hang on to the to the lead at that point. I tried. God damn. Oh shit. Well, now we're stuck on the outside. Let's just get back to the bottom. Okay. Well, let's burn the tires up too. Still maintaining fourth place. Really, I just can't really do anything. I'm just kind of stuck here. I mean, Amy Hicks is right up in front of me. I think I'm getting her drive just a little bit, but I just I can't really do anything. So I'm just kind of stuck here. So I mean, kind of have to hit my marks a little bit because Jimmy's right there as I fucking botched the shit out of that corner. And there you go. That's how you lose a fourth position because you make a mistake. Work your way to the front. And that's how you lose fifth position as I smack the outside wall. Ugh. Here goes Jeff Gorin. Oh, no, never mind. Okay. Well, we maintain six for a second as Gorin's trying to pass me on the outside. Tires are falling apart. The car sucks now. Here goes Mark. I'm trying. I just, I can't do much when a car is just fucking awful now. Oh, my God. Oh, drop back down to eighth. There goes Jared and freaking Stewart. I mean, at least we're getting passed by faster cars, but I, I just can't do much with uh, with this right now. I just got to hang on until I pit. God forbid, you know, I put. I think I pushed the car a little bit too much there. The car just can't handle it. Ah, uh, whatever. We're going to probably lose that position anyways, the story. And down peril this time by 70 miles an hour. <sighs> Rough first half. 
So we're not going to repair damage. We're going to just bump the wedge down to zero because apparently the car's too loose. I don't know what to do. Pit crew do okay. They get a 15-5. We're out in the way. We should cycle back out maybe just inside top 10 or a little bit out as we just LePage Rusty Wallace, but thankfully he was kind enough to stop, so. He probably knows that he's just going to get by him anyway, so there's no need to really do anything crazy, but. I don't know. Just, just, just frustrating when the car just, it just doesn't really handle well. Looks like we're going to cycle out in 11th right now. Rusty is for position. Oh, God. Somebody LePage somebody up there. Oh, they're slowing down. Oh, thank you, Tony Stewart, or whoever will page them. All right, we move into, well, we're going to move up into P9, but even with Tony Stewart making a mistake, it doesn't matter, because he was just going to drive right by me. Okay, another person pitted, I guess, or ninth. I don't think there's any real way we're going to maintain this top 10, but this is nice. I mean, hey, the field dicked themselves over, so that kind of helped me out for, for at least for a little bit. Oh my god. Oh, I can't even count how many times I've been so close. Rick, did Ricky Rudges wreck Jeff Gordon? I think he just moved him out of the way. Um, I don't know. No, no. Mm -mm. Uh, Bobby Labonte is not going to screw me over. He's not going to get by, easily. by me easily. Oh my god, this car is just the worst of everything. It's just, it's tight, loose, tight, loose. It's awful. I can't, that's the worst handling car, and I consistently have this. At, I feel like every damn race at Dover. As I'm going to lose the lead. I can't... I, the lead. <laughs> the position. <laughs> but what else can I do there? I mean, I'm trying to hit my marks as best I can without getting runned over. This game is just unrelentless with the, the tire fall. Because, like, again, like, I don't have a problem driving the damn racetrack. Like, a lot of these tracks. But just... I'm surrounded by a bunch of AI drivers completely swarming me. It just... I, <laughs> so I'm bound to make a fucking mistake. But apparently, everybody in the comment section never make a mis never make a mistake in their human. They're just inhuman. That one was quick. Let's do it again. You're clear. Your left front tire is a little more. Hold your line. You're still there. Still there. Take it easy. Well. Still kind of there for 13th. Rusty's slow, but Kenseth can't get around him as I'm just hogging the bottom, so Kenseth is kind of trapped. And now he finally gets by me and gets to the inside of Wallace, so he should be able to get the spot. Bill Ellis is going to drive right around me. So we're going to probably salvage... Uh, no, I don't know. Maybe a top 15 if I don't choke it away. <gasps> okay. We keep 14th. God damn. It's every every corner is just a magical adventure. You know what's the damning thing about all this is that on the PS2, it, I don't think it's the controller. I think it's just how the game is ported on the PS2. But there is always such a fucking delay on hitting on the gas and hitting on the brakes. When I let off the gas, it's like a one second delay. It feels like it. When you pause and unpause, the game locks for a second. You can't move anything. Why is the port for this so bad? I've always thought about that. I never really thought about saying it. And it's not really me just complaining about, oh, well, the PS... If I... Well, actually, I'm... I guess I did, but... It's, it is obviously just not ported well for this. For this game on this exact system. This, everything feels a little bit delayed. And I'm assuming if I had the Xbox version, which I swear to God, someday I might just get an Xbox and play this game on there. Like this game, yeah, this game on the Xbox and see how I fare out. So I'm very curious about that, because if the handling and everything's a little bit more responsive and just better, then I'm very curious to see how I would be if that were the case, as I'm still botching away positions. I don't know how I'm still hanging on to everything. I'm just kind of rambling. I do better when I don't even pay attention to what the hell's going around me. But, I don't know. I just, I can't get by Rusty Wallace. My car's just too goddamn slow, and he's holding up everybody behind me, which leaves me more potential possibilities of choking everything away.
I can't. God, fuck! I did it again. I did it again, and I DNF'd. That went from zero to a hundred really fast. I. Oh my god, this fucking game is so brutal. It is so fucking brutal. God damn. Oh, let's look at our results. Ooh, terrible earnings. Fantastic. God damn. Chad Chaffin won again. Wait, no. That's his first win, but... Oh yeah, that... <laughs> another thing. Um, no matter what, even if it's on the white flag, I think Junior was going to win, but no, the game said no. You can't have that. So, we finished horribly. I, it, it kept Walter blowing up because that happened earlier in the race. Kyle Petty fourth. This top ten makes no sense. So, I'm assuming Mark Martin 11. So, the point standings for the top is going to be probably all messed up. This car is so fucking tight. Then it gets loose. Then it gets tight. Oh my god. It's the worst handling put fucking car possible and I can't even speak because I'm so goddamn mad. Next race is Kansas. Ooh, that's gonna be fucking fantastic. Another mile and a half that will probably suck ass at. Thankfully Talladega is after that so we'll do okay. And our car is so fucking... so... yeah, blowing it up, exploding it doesn't make the car any better. So, we're gonna put in number 12. Might as well just build new shit after that. I mean, it's just we completely ruined whatever we were using. Okay, conditions. So we're just gonna re-overhaul. Um, the one I said 95% because <laughs> that was pretty much ruined. I don't even know if it goes up, but we're just gonna throw that in there. Um, just build new stuff. I just we were gonna have like a top 15 finish, and then I just blew it away. I mean, I've done it before in the past, but I have not DNF'd, so that was a first. <sighs> god, oh my god, why did it not save my status? There we go. Okay, car rating is 78, the best rated car we've, I think ever had, but it's not going to matter because it's freaking Kansas, so who cares? Ugh, that was a nightmare, but the point standing should be interesting because it all got messed up. We're down to 7th. However, Jarrett's still the points leader, Stewart's still there, Mark's, or Gordon's still there, Mark's off the map, even though he finished a little higher, a little, I don't know. We dropped down to 7th, the Chad Chaffin got a win, so... Yeah, I don't know what to make of that. So I don't even know how many wins he even has. I think that was his first one. God, it's so stupid. On the white flag, too, it did that. Like, I don't freaking know. That was a nightmare. That was a nightmare. This game, just... just gonna, like, if we're going to continue all the way to Season 4, by the time it's... It's going to end by fucking March. Like, a, the, ser the series is almost going to go on for, like, a full-on year. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, the Demerals, Brain Hill, Scott Browning, Mark Kohler, Roland Hoffa, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Jeff Gordon, and Ronnie Lazarin for their donation. Again, I can't say enough how much I appreciate each and every single one of you. It does mean a lot to me. And considering what that last lap of that race was, then, um, yeah, it makes me feel better thinking about you guys. No homo, I guess. I'll see you all next race where we'll probably suck ass. I don't think we'll DNF. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't think it'll be that horrendously awful in the handling, but it'll just probably be slow. <laughs> I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.